This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world with Book 2. In Chapter 2, this is Section 7, Healthy and Unhealthy Foods. Hi David, I'm writing regarding your post concerning exercise and food. I am in this exact struggle right now. I am a personal fitness trainer. I got involved with the course about four months ago when I had just begun my new job. At first, It was difficult for me to even feel good about working with people on fitness. Now I see it as an opportunity to have holy encounters rather than focusing on fitness aspects so much. However, your post really hit a chord with me because I am struggling in the worst way with food. I find that when I eat what I consider healthy foods, I'm happy and energetic. When I don't, I get extremely depressed. I have played with this idea since studying the course. I have accepted that the body is neutral. In doing this, I began eating whatever I wanted instead of relying on healthy food to keep my emotions grounded. Intellectually, I could accept the idea that what I put into my mouth does not have an effect on my mind. But when I ate unhealthy foods, even while keeping this thought in mind, it seemed to backfire. I became extremely depressed and miserable regardless of my acceptance of the idea. I feel trapped with this. Do you have any specific advice for me? I feel as if I am in a constant battle and I am not sure how to handle this in the most productive way. Can you give me some more information about how you were able to get beyond this particular struggle? Beloved one, healing of the mind is a process until it is realized as an instant. So although you can be open to the ideas and you can be open to the healing, You cannot direct the miracle yourself. Your willingness to heal your mind and to accept the truth is what you can offer the Holy Spirit. And then your role is to listen and follow your intuition as to what happens next. Leading with the behavior and focusing on the form is not the way that the healing occurs. It is always at the level of mind that healing occurs. So continue to be open regarding the foods that you eat, being aware that there is nothing causative in form, but that your mind is very powerful and you will experience the effects of your belief. Unconscious beliefs run very deep. So use the healthy food concept as a leaf that you can trace inward to the branches, looking at all of your thoughts and associations with this belief. Its opposites, its contradictions, the fears and doubts and convictions around it inward to the trunk or the belief in separation. Inward to the belief 
that you must be a body at the mercy of and affected by foods, the world. Look upon these beliefs and thoughts from a place of innocence, from a place of inquiry. Know that all you need do is observe and trace in, being honest with yourself about what you do believe. Allow the emotions to come up and pass away while handing it all over to the Holy Spirit. Visual imagery can be helpful for handing over. At times I have visualized scooping up all of the associated thoughts, putting them in a basket with a big bow, with a big bow on top, and giving them to him like they were a gift-wrapped present. At another time, when the images had sadness associated with them, I placed them on a raft and watched them being taken gently across a river of light to dissolve into love. It is all about becoming highly intuitive, and releasing fear from the mind. Through a gentle process of inquiry and release, you may be surprised to find that you are intuitively guided to eat foods that you once considered healthy foods. God's will for you is perfect happiness, so any feelings of sacrifice are coming from the ego. Be gentle with your beautiful self, knowing that you are not the healthy thoughts or the unhealthy thoughts or even the thinker of these dualistic thoughts. You are pure love and the symbol of eating food can be used as a backdrop for joining. It can be used as a backdrop for joy while you continue with the holy purpose of healing your mind.